स्पेशल गुड मॉर्निंग टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ईयर मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टेड हर एक्सलेंसी हॉनरेबल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया मैडम द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी हॉनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ कल्चर एंड टूरिज्म श्री किशन रेड्डी गारो हॉनरेबल स्टेट मिनिस्टर मैडम सत्यवती रथोर गारो श्री बी सुबा रेड्डी गारू चेरपर्सन नीट्स अंड श्री विद्या रेड्डी गारू वैस चेरपर्सन नीट्स राघव रेड्डी गारू एगाब रेड्डी गारू डिस्टिंग गेस्ट एमिनेंट पर्सनलिटी एंड अकाडमीशियन एस टीम प्रिंट एंड एलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया फ्रेंड्स faculty and staff members beloved students and all the other participants mana priyanga priyatnama rashtrapati garu ikkadiki ee nits program ku raavadam okka charitra makka roju mana andaram कट्टी मन गौरव राष्ट्रमा की स्वागत ईम रि वेरी हापी टू अटंड दिश प्रोग्रम विवर् हॉनरबल प्रेसीडेंट फॉर दास्ट टू टू थ्री डेज ईम वि दिस्ज दि विम इंस्टिट्यूशन exclusively on technology this is the country which was dreaming which didn't have voting rights for women in the initial stages and which the education was denied for the women students but now the narayanama institute of technology and science tops the country in the engineering technology exclusively for women that is the dream of all our freedom fighters our leaders who shed blood for the country so i appreciate they mark this association occasion as azadi ka amrit mahotsav and you can see as our honorable kishan reddy ji enlisted how women can be empowered in this country in all branches on all walks of life but you can see the dyers the real women empowerment is visible in this country the honorable president the honorable governor and the honorable state minister representing the state and the country yeah and uh, academician sri vidya uh, is representing the institution also so in all stages from the country to the institution you can see the women empowerment so after seeing madam honorable most respected draupadi murmu ji no women in this country no women in this state can think that their rights are denied they can cry for their rights because when a leader can rise to the from humble background to this level anybody in india follow her footsteps can come up in life so nobody should cry for the rights in this country so she is a great role model in our country but our my message to the students please grab what all the opportunities given to you first of all even we have more number of colleges for women when we go for nowadays when we go for the convocations we are very happy that most of the gold medals are grabbed by the women students most of the toppers are women students but one thing i want to convey that but still the science and technology research only 15% women are involved in that even even in naturopathy and even medical research as a doctor i can say only 25% women are involved in that so you have to get involved in the innovative procedures in the research activities because covid 19 has taught us that research will help us in the most alarming situation and i am very happy because of the all of the efforts because of the education rendered in our country when we were medical students we used to long for the vaccination to be imported from other countries but now i am proud even china countries like china are suffering now my country is very safe 
because of the vaccination taken which is produced in my country. So that is the proud moment and under the leadership of our Honorable Madam, definitely India will write the history, the noble history as our Honorable Prime Minister said. And as our Honorable Prime Minister says that nothing should halt the progress of a woman. So only in our culture, the marriage may halt the progress of a woman. So the time limit of the marriage has risen from 18 years to 21 years. So nothing should halt the women's progress. So thinking like this and the very strong leadership make us to be very strong. And I really appreciate this institution. But when I was reading about this institution, this institution has club for women's safety. That is very important. My, my request is, whatever may be the hurdles you face, please convey to the higher authorities so no women should shed tears because of weakness and because of there is no safety. And I appreciate this institution. They are taking much care about fitness. I, as our Honorable Prime Minister says, everyone should be fit. And when I go to the institutions, when I ask a question, how many of you do yoga in the morning? Very few raise their hands. But you have to be, only one thing in the institutions, why you have to be very fit, why you have to go, do yoga, you can get more marks if you do yoga. So it's an, another additional qualification to get more marks. So be fit, be happy, at the same time, be courage. The Subramanya Bharati from Tamil Nadu says, Stand straight. Look straight. Put your head high. And walk straight. Don't be covered. Be courageous. Even if the sky fall on your head, don't fear. We are fearless. If the sky fall on our head also, then what we will fear? So or as women, let us all be courageous, happy and exemplify in our activities and our academic activities as it is expected by your parents and your teachers. And my respects to, again I convey my respects to our honorable, most respectful madam. After seeing her, as I said, no woman should be a coward. No woman should feel weak. All women should feel strong enough because this country is headed by a strong woman. Thank you so much.